Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to unbox three costume ball dolls. I got these three probably a week apart each at my local Walmarts. I did look around and try to find them when they would go down to like $15 or $10. But it seems like as soon as they would go on that big sale, they would be all sold out. So I did end up picking all three of these up for $27 each because I really didn't want to miss out on these specific dolls. Had they gone down, I probably would have gotten at least one more. That didn't happen. <laughs> and I am actually not going to show the whole unboxing process in this video. Since there are three, it would be a little long. So I'm going to start with having each doll out of their box and kind of go over the doll and give a little review. However, if you do want to see the actual unboxing, I will have a short for each of them on the channel. So with that, let's go ahead and finish busting Lola out of this box so she is fresh and free and we can look at her. And here she is out of the box. Her curls are so nice and bouncy and they're not super full of product. Her cat ears appear to be just a headband frame with some lace attached. They're pretty cute though. Then we have these diamond encrusted looking earrings. It doesn't look like she has a shirt underneath this. It's just the shirt, not a or not a jacket, but it's the whole thing. It's got a belt, a skirt, does have a little panty strap. Yeah, I think that belt, I think I have a really similar one from somebody else. And these shoes are super cool. The pink, the spikes, kind of looks like teeth or claws or fangs. The pink boots are cute. These laces are probably going to give me some trouble. And I love the fishnets. Put her on her stand really quick so that I can get a better look at her. Here we go. Look at that face. It is so pretty. Oh, and her curls are so bouncy. She looks a lot like her box. And she does have these really cool rings that are just attached to her fingers. Let me see if I can get those up higher, closer to the screen. There they are. Her long nails and really cool little rings. I like those a lot. And they don't come off like the Monster High ones and <laughs> get lost. And the fur is actually pretty nice on this too. It's a pretty good feeling fur. It looks nice feels good. Oh, and you know, actually her sleeves look like they have different fur in the art also. But she was the one I got first. She was the one I wanted the most. Just look at how pretty her face is. That makeup, that super graphic white and hot pink. And it's got kind of a smoky color above it with some glitter. It's got some purple in her lips and her eyebrows and just pretty little freckles hair stuck in her eyelashes. <laughs> Feels like this lace could come off pretty easily, but it wouldn't be hard to reattach anyway. So the verdict is I absolutely love her and I'm going to try to pose her like she is on the box. So here is my Witch Bella. She has this nice iridescent band around the edge of her witch hat brim and a white belt band with an RH. Her hair has a ton of tinsel and it's definitely got some product crunch in there. I really like these earrings. They just have the RH, a little pink gem, and then teardrop pearls that match her pearl necklace. And you go down to the dress and she's got all sorts of sparkly decorations. They always have things attached to themselves. She's got some cute ruffles. She has this fishnet fabric with just a few scattered gems all around it. Ruffles on the bottom of the sleeve. Oh, she's got these pretty two-toned nails. Let's get her off that stand and take a better look at this dress. 
The top has like a fishnet material in the middle, same as the sleeves with just a pattern of gems on it. There's this little bow at the bottom with the button upside down. And it's you know, multi-layer bow, got a couple layers of different ribbons, which is really cute. Little spiders on there that are made of, you know, matching pearls and metallic embroidery thread. I didn't notice at first that there is like a spider web pattern in this dress. These shoes are cute, but I definitely don't feel like they match super well. I do love the socks. I love it when they come with socks, but these shoes are just not quite it. So the changes from the artwork are her lips are definitely lighter and not so sparkly as shown here. She doesn't have as many layers here in the sleeve, which understandable. This is kind of a fishnetty pattern with gems in between. Same with in here. This bow kind of wraps around and these straps here are kind of part of the bow. It actually looks like it's all one wrap that goes from the bust and then wraps behind and then drops down and then ties here. Another difference is my button is upside down, but that's not an overall difference. I think just the length of the hat, I think it's just not quite long enough to do this little cute shape, but maybe if I put a wire in there, I'd be able to get it to do it. And then looking at the whole dress, the original drawing, the dress is definitely longer, and I actually really like this. Of all the things they changed, this is the one that I wish the most that they had kept. It Because I like, I do like the ruffle going down. You get a nice drape on the front of the skirt. You get enough room to actually see that spider web right here, which is very pale in this. I don't know if they're all always that light. It gives you a little bit more room between those spiders, so it feels like they each feel really cute and separate. The ruffles on this kind of go out. I think they're like shorter and they kind of go straight out. These socks look very similar. This The R pattern is even in this. The shoes are very different though. These shoes actually match the outfit and they have like a little gem buckle and then some kind of a detail around the ankle strap. So overall I think they did a good job duplicating it from this. I don't really understand how how the box is so different. Why are the boxes and the promotional artwork never based on the actual physical doll that we're getting? Because that's what I want. This is beautiful and I really like this, but what it does is make me see what she could have been. She's awesome. I love her. This is way cooler. <laughs> and yeah, I know budget and all that kind of stuff. There's feasibility, reasons why this isn't exactly the same. But then this is what should be on here. This should be here. Her hair blend is really pretty. It's got kind of like a, pretty sure that's black. The yeah. brush is a little darker though. A purple and kind of a dark magenta. Ooh, these ones actually feel like they could be like an actual zipper, feel it. Oh yeah, cool. It's cool, huh? So that's it looks like her cape has little zippers opening for her hands. Ooh, it has a cool little thing showing S H. Yeah. The Shadow High. The Shadow High ones seem to all have these little like studs around the outside of the stand. They do? Mm-hmm. You can't see on her shelf very good because the lip covers it. But so she I has right here. Oh, I came right here. a belt. Yep. Yeah. This belt is separate. It comes off completely differently, at, independently of her dress. Her earrings are, I think I've seen these before. They're separate people that similar. they don't actually show on the show, but then they just have them instead. Yeah, how does this cave? Aha, it's just Velcro right there. Okay, 
And let's look at her cape really quick. It's like velvet on the outside with some nice embroidery. And like a, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be kind of like a brocade. But it's got like iridescent, kind of reminds me of like chandeliers. Or kind of like the wallpaper in the playroom downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah. That kind of a pattern. Like a damask. That Velcro actually is kind of hidden in a good way. I didn't know it was there from the front. Oh, oh so it's kind of like a little cape. Yeah, and I do, that one thing that kind of makes me sad about this is you can see how it hangs. You don't see the nice embroidery from the front. I bet I could iron it down though, if I wanted her to wear it. And here we are to all of the wonderful pieces of clothing she has. Oh, she's got rings on her finger. Oh, that, right there, her skirt also kind of looks like the wallpaper downstairs. Yeah, this one is more of a paisley pattern, but this feels more like a brocade. This is, I mean, it's like a silky, satiny material, but this is more of like a actual brocade fabric. And it's got a bunch of studs at the top, just a little thin straps. Again, the black belt comes off on its own. Ooh, and the oh, the buckle Mom. slides. These are the lion ear earrings that we saw. Mm -hmm. I think it's supposed to be like Medusa or something, but yeah, I usually think it looks like a sheep lady. Oh, and the little ruffle at the top is separate too. That's fully independent. It would Probably. look cool if it was together. Yeah, but this way you can choose whether or not you want it. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, that came off. And then we have rings on both fingers, actually. She's got a little winged. Oh, I bat didn't know they had wing. That they had wings. Most of them don't. Okay, let's look at her. So here is her undershirt. It is super cute. Her one of her uh, nails did try to go through it, so it's got a tiny little hole because it's so long, and these. The sleeves can go even longer. But then, yeah, the dress, you know, has a nice edge. Those studs go all the way around to the back. It's hemmed nicely at the bottom, too. I think that's just the back of the fabric is solid. Okay, and then these boots that are just amazing. I don't know what's going on there. I think mine has a little bit of a weird flaw, but this long zipper that's just printed on going all the way up and then the ruffles at the top they're so tall I think these are the tallest ones I have they appear to be a little bit taller than Mara's and Nicole's and that could just be the ruffle even but yeah she's got super graphic eyeshadow she's got the white wing with black all around it she's got a fading brow and on her hair she's got these little bows that look kind of like they could be little bat wings they are both pretty haphazardly put together. That H is at least mostly in the middle, the S is to the side, but oh well, they're hair bangs. I really am not a fan of the bangs they do that come out super short at the corners like this. I like it when they do it all from the part. I think it looks so much better. I actually wonder if she would look better without bangs. I'm gonna have to check and see if these are thatched in. I might be able to remove them. And then her lipstick is actually a really pretty color. I think it looks good without matching perfectly. Mm -hmm. So let's get her dressed back up. What do you think? You got them? Mm -hmm. So there's our three. Our pinks and purples, because apparently all I ever buy is pinks and purples, because that's all that's up there. There's so much pink and purple. There's barely any reds. Yeah, or blues. This is where they currently sit on my shelf. I do need to do a complete overhaul of the way these are organized, the entire shelf. Did you get any costume ball dolls? Did you actually pay full price? Uh, which ones do you think are the most worth it? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me. Have a great day.